Hello guys, this is Nick from HF Survival School. Thank you very much for joining me. Today we will be going on a camping trip with a tent. We will be doing some small cooking, some woodworking with axe and knife and just enjoying the outdoors. So guys, I found this big, uh, I think it is oak, which is, was, which is dead and man it is heavy and I had to carry it like this for about 200 300 meters but it is hardwood if it is not oak I know that it is hardwood and it will be burning for a long long time and I have this big piece of uh, spruce which was also dead standing and now I will use that to start the fire guys here I have spent quite some time trying to figure out what will be the best tarp setup to cover it and make it kind of wind and wind tight and waterproof and here is my setup overall I used 10 tent pegs to peg out both the PV and the tarp and I used one guy line here to attach it to the tree so that I can have an entrance. Here is the view from the other side and as you see this is the side where wind is uh, coming from and that I should be pretty safe from the wind. So first I will process this spruce because it will be easier to start fire with it and it will burn more fast so that I can eat quickly and when I will have enough energy and when I will uh, eat I'll, then I will process this hardwood so
all those cows. I really don't know what they are doing here, but here, as you see, they are, they are quite a few of them. <laughs> Nice to see that I'm not all alone out here. But I prefer processing this size wood with my axe because I find it quite entertaining. And man. This wood smells something like really different from what I'm used to from the woods in the mountains and from the pines which are there. It smells really strange. I have never smelled pine like that. So let's continue. Guys, uh, it is getting pretty late. It is about six o'clock. I came out here pretty late, and I haven't even started the fire now to uh, eat the dinner. So uh, I had to. St I have to start this fire you know, pretty quickly, so that I'll have time to process the big oak. And I am very hungry. So let's give this a try. So guys, as you see, the fire is going pretty good, and this, I love the sound of it, don't you? Guys, today I had to keep it really simple, and that's why I brought with me some paper like bread, or I don't know how it is called in English. And I brought some smoked sausages and smoked cheese. Just like that and that should be very very good and let's put the smoked cheese inside and now we should end up with one damn delicious sandwich just like this over the fire that's it mm, man it feels great I wanted to put this 
on the coals so that the smoked cheese could melt inside but I'm very hungry and I couldn't wait man it's very delicious Guys, as you see, I have the one, two, three, four, five, five very big, big pieces of oak already and cut down by my photo force felling axe. I have one piece of pine and a few small pieces, and I'm sure this will be more than enough. I will be left with a few with it, I'm sure, for the morning because it will get dark at about eight o'clock and I go to sleep about 10 or 11 so for three hours this will be more than enough now let's talk about let's talk a few words about my shelter so well, today i came out here uh, knowing that as you noticed it is very windy and to, to, uh, yesterday uh, there were very big amount of winds very big winds uh, i saw a few falling down trees by the wind from yesterday and Today it is also very windy and I wanted to test my new uh, AquaQuest uh, West Coast PV which uh, they say it's a PV but really it's as you see uh, more like a tent which um, uh, is very good for summer and very lightweight and I, couldn't, I wouldn't use the uh, tarp because if uh, uh, because uh, I know that there will be no rain uh, tonight but I still used it because uh, this is my first try with this uh, tent and I want to uh, test it out and see how really it works and I really like it and I have this setup uh, for my um, summer trips in these few days I planned a few trips for summer and they will be high up in the mountains and I'm in the process of uh, getting all of the gear which I need uh, for that uh, I will be uh, about uh, I will, uh, so one trek is about five days out in the mountains second is I think three days and the fourth is five or six days so it will be if I succeed and if I go it will be very very much fun and I hope you guys you guys will be interested to come with me and I will make a video of those trips and I will share it with you and I wanted this setup because uh, I don't have a tent and this really falls in the tent category and when I'll be in the mountains see I know it will be uh, quite wet and quite uh, rainy because you know uh, the uh, for weather changes in the mountains very fast and that's why I will have the tarp also overall uh, the tarp and the uh, PV both weight uh, I think it was 1.88 kilograms so that is very lightweight maximum two kilograms let's say with all the tent packs and everything and that is really lightweight and um, i think it will be perfect for my trip and uh, there will be also very high winds uh, where if i uh, will have to stay uh, on a few of the passes which i have to pass if i stay there there are very serious um, uh, winds over there so I will need the uh, tarp to pro protect me from it and as you know AquaQuest makes very waterproof as they say it is the world's most waterproof manufacturer they truly make uh, things waterproof and this tarp is very lightweight it weighs about 800 grams I think it is their ultra lightweight uh, uh, tarp and also I have a new sleeping bag uh, it is the Teton Sports 12 head, 12 head uh, plus uh, 20 Fahrenheit, which is I think minus uh, 4 or 5 Celsius uh, sleeping bag, and I will look really forward to try it. 
it will drop drop down maximum to minus one or two at night so it will be the perfect conditions to test it out and in the summer when i go in the mountains that will be uh, the uh, maximum maximum uh, temperature which uh, it will drop down I th that's what i think so for summer i will need to get a good backpack i think i will need like a 90 liter backpack to uh, store all of my uh, gear for five days because five days really isn't a joke and i will need to get some hiking boots and as you guys know me uh, i really uh, i really love military surplus but and i really didn't uh, like the ultralight hikers and stuff but uh, there is a place for everything and now when I thought about it uh, in the mountains all of this heavy gear will, won't be as good so I have to go ultra lightweight and uh, go and uh, take everything as durable and as uh, lightweight as possible so it will be very interesting and I really look forward uh, to it and uh, I hope with the help of God everything will be okay and I will be able to go there so now I feel like I finished everything what I had to do I wanted to uh, bring uh, some tea and drink it but uh, I forgot it and on my way I looked at the briar bushes and it is still early to the, for the briar and uh, the very few briars which are on the bushes are uh, from the last year so they are already not good to make it so I really feel bad about forgetting the tea because it would be perfect right I pushed I uh, pushed all of the packs in a way that the tarp is uh, on the ground level and there is no wind flowing inside but uh, I know I will have some condensation so I lifted up this part a little bit so that the heavy winds which come from this side can come up uh, uh, can come inside and uh, I hope there will be less condensation and this test overnight will be also good to check out how much condensation I will get uh, with this setup because this will be my setup for the mountains. Here you see the front side. So here is the inside. As you see, I have quite amount of space to store my uh, wet boots when I will be in the mountains over here, and my backpack over here. And this view really is a one and a half person view. As you see, it is quite uh, roomy. This is the large version. Uh, the sleeping mat I'm using and still I have pretty good amount of space on both sides and also on the back side and on the top side I have quite some space left even though this mat is the large version here this is my sleeping bag and I will look forward to try it now I'm just sitting here don't know what to do I have processed all the firewood which I needed more than what I need and Yes, I have a book with me, but I have only like 50 pages uh, left to finish that book and I want to keep that for the night so that I can read it in night, at night. So, I'll just tell you a few words about the book that I'm reading. This is a book by Father Paisi, which is a monk in the, uh, in, uh, from Greece and the book is called with, with pain and love about the modern man and man if this was uh, translated in English I would recommend it to you with my both thumbs up it is about modern man and gives you advice gives advice to modern man and even girls and it really helps you out in life there are really good advices in it uh, uh, but mostly it is about how simple life you should live 
and how what kind of happiness is in a simple life and the simpler it is the closer you are to our father to our god and the better it is for you so it is really a great book and I love reading it and I only have about 15 pages left and I will finish it today so that's really good there are other books by him and I'll read them also for sure here I'll search and I'll tell you one uh, piece from it one very interesting piece here here is a great part I'll try to translate it. Uh, the more you uh, go far, the more you live the nature, and you live, live, you stop living the simple life, and you start to live that luxury life and uh, getting all of those stuff which really you don't need, but you waste money and time in it. The more you do that, the uh, more your soul is uh, uh, can't find rest and it uh, the more difficult life you are choosing and it is really bad for you and uh, the more you go away from this nature and this simple life the more you go away from God and you won't five you won't find peace in anywhere and And you cannot find peace so it is really good words and something something to think about that all of the stuff which we need for example I will tell you my example I really wanted to buy one, buy one knife for example I really really wanted to buy this knife for a few months I was saving money I was doing something I was going on Amazon every day looking at it if it increased the price if not and at least I was able to order it and when I order it I couldn't wait I couldn't sleep at night or when will it arrive when will it arrive and at least it arrived I looked at it and I really liked it and but in about one hour all of this happiness was gone man I mean really seriously it was just I just put it next to my bed and it is still there until today I uh, carried it a few times but that's it and uh, if you think about it mostly in everything oh you want that Ferrari very much you buy it and then you don't want it anymore and you it doesn't make you as excited anymore but uh, and that is not the right thing to get excited about you should get excited about simple things for example uh, you should get excited by helping others you should be uh, you will get happier by helping others and if you just uh, if you don't believe me just try it for some times just help others and do kind kind things to others and you will see that over time well, all of those kind things which you did to others you will find that uh, other people will be doing the same to you this life is like uh, planting a plant so you get what you plant so if you plant a tree it will grow up so there are some beautiful birds singing so that is the main idea of life that you get how you live uh, you get everything the same way you uh, give it so uh, how can I explain it so uh, how to explain it um, so uh, I'll tell you example one example but there were very much examples like this and I'm not uh, telling you this to the, because all oh, to, to the talk about oh, how good how good guy I am I'm just talking it as a fact what happened so uh, these times when I was in the mountains and I had vacation from university I was not in the city and I really didn't have the money and when I visit my uncle or my aunt and they always give me money so uh, these times about in a half year uh, my uncle hasn't given me any money so 
I really didn't thought about it. I just think about it now when it happened. And uh, I always uh, helped homeless people when I meet them, especially older people. My heart really burns when I see them and I help that as much as I can. And uh, every time I do this, uh, I get the same thing. So the other day I came out and there was a really cute uh, older woman, grandpa, uh, grandmother, which was standing out there. She was homeless and she was, uh, she was asking for help. So I really stopped it. My heart was really burned. And at the moment what I had, I gave her like one or two dollars. So, and I just left it and I thought, I really uh, thought bad that I didn't have anything more to give her. And I was going to my uncle and when I went to my uncle, right after I entered the door, he gives me he gives me 20 bucks. I tell him, why do you give me? No, you know, just do whatever you want. And he gives, he gives me like that. And these kind of things happen all the time when I... So nice to hear the bird singing. So these kind of things happens all the time to me when I think about it after I do it, that when I do something kind, something kind happens to me after it with 10 or 20 times even better. So <clears throat> make your life simpler, it will be my advice. And help everyone and be kind because there is too much hate in this world today and we need to change that. We need to love more each other more and life is really too short to waste it in hate and anger. So make life simple and spread love, not hate. So. That will be my advice. So nice to hear the birds. The wind got down a little bit now and as you see, before it gets dark, the birds came out. Man, this is the life. I'm really happy to be here and really enjoy it. I put the second oak in and it, is, it has started to burn. Oh, I just remember I have my pipe with me and now I will smoke it. I'm reaching 10,000 subscribers pretty soon and I really have really close relationship to you guys and always share everything with you guys and and I don't want to um, lose this close re relation to you guys because you got 10,000 already and man I reached this milestone pretty quick I needed I started two years ago or two and a half years ago and it was really great experience and it gets better and better and I really like you guys you with all of your supportive comments and all of your kind words you really make my day and I really like to respond to them and I really feel happy that I help some people with this or that, with this advice or something like that and I want to keep this close relation to you guys. So I want to make a, a question and answer video when I reach 10,000 subscribers and uh, comment on this video uh, uh, any kind of question, what you are interested, uh, what uh, you interest uh, you about me. It can be any kind of question, personal or not personal, and I'll try my best to uh, uh, to respond to all of the questions uh, in the video which I will make when I reach 10,000 uh, subscribers. So that should be really fun, and uh, you show you guys can get to know me even better, and you will. Uh, you can ask me anything what interests you about me and I will try my best to answer all of the questions in that video.
Do you guys, do you guys hear those barking? I don't think it's a dog. I think it's a jackal because there are very big amount of jackals in my country and it is in this area also. I know there are a lot of foxes but I think there are jackals too so so I think it's a jackal. <laughs> you lucky bastard that lucky bastard he has to be thankful that I don't have my shotgun with me or else I would make a nice head for winter for me. This bastard came down in front of me and he was in front of my mountain and he went down on the left side and he got behind my back, he was barking from my back now, I yelled at him and I hope he's gone, I hope, uh, why did I, <coughs> why didn't I bring my shotgun, I would kill this bastard. He can come at me at night and I don't know, I don't have food or anything with me and for the morning I have some eggs and some bread so but now I will have to uh, cook the sausage and the smell may attra attract him but until I have the fire I'm not afraid but when I go inside the tent and I put out the fire I don't know what will <coughs> happen there so it should be a pretty interesting night I have I have never had a jackal come at me at night so close I'm not scared or anything but you know just in case you have to think about everything if stuff goes wrong so guys I wanted to uh, uh, fry the uh, sausages but uh, because the pesky jackal was so close to me it was in about 50 or maximum 100 meters uh, the uh, barking from it was um, heard very much so it would be wrong to give him the reason to come at me so I decided to pull the sausages one thing is that I don't know how much you see me but see it but well, there is a game trail right here and I really knew when I was making the shelter here but this is such a popular place where people come out hiking every day that I really didn't thought that there could be a jackal next to me but what can we do I'll sleep it sleep with my ex next to me and hope nothing I hope he won't come at me so now the water is boiling and the sausage is ready so I'll wrap it in the bread and I'll eat it the wind has changed the direction and time after time the smoke is coming at me I'll just cut small piece like this and I'll wrap the sausage inside of it like this I'll eat it like that. Mm. 
man, it is great. I will do it new if I was this hungry. So guys, I'm inside the tent, as you see, and it is pretty damn cozy inside here. One thing, some dudes walked next to me with a car. Heck knows what they wanted in the woods with a car at 12 o'clock at night. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I just woke up. It is 9 o'clock. As you see, first of all, I have zero condensation, which I really like. And it is really good. Now, I had some problems uh, falling asleep at night because, uh, as you saw, when I Okay, got inside my sleeping bag. There was um, there were almost no wind, but in a few <coughs> minutes, some pretty hard wind started, and I couldn't still sleep about until 2 a.m. The uh, tent was pretty sturdy, but it, the tarp was still moving all around because it was just insane wind. Uh, but about two o'clock it settled down and I fall asleep. Then in the morning I woke up about it was seven o'clock. <laughs> Some homeless dog was standing standing right next to me and barking at me and I yelled at him a few times but he didn't go and he yelled and yelled and yelled but I was too lazy to get out and uh, after he uh, came to my uh, entrance, I uh, showed him myself, I uh, put out my head and showed him and then he lost the interest and then they went and then still I went to sleep and now it is 9 o'clock and I woke up. It is real. I really like this place because uh, they are very beautiful and very different uh, birds singing all the time in the morning and that is a really pleasant thing to be woken up by bird singing in the morning so now I'll get up start the fire because I'm pretty hungry How I make the handle for this pan quite a few times in my previous video and now I'll show you. So you need a preferably green piece of wood and you need to make a notch with your saw about till the middle. So let's do that. How will it be better? It should be better like this. So. There, now that should be good. Then we need to take our knife. And split this wood right here. 
right here so that the split comes like this. Just like that. It came a little bit smaller, but I think it should work. So then you take your pen first you push the knife in it like this to open it up and then you put the pan inside and now this part is holding this small lip and you have a handle for your pen which won't come off but I'm not sure about this one because it didn't split the way I wanted but it should be good so for breakfast I brought two eggs and I will fry them with the smoked cheese and put it inside my uh, flat bread so I'll just put this smoked cheese also on the side. You know, just to add some extra flavor. And now let's put it this over the fire. The fire is very hot and the pan is very thin, so I should be careful not to burn it. I think it is burning a little bit from the bottom side, so I will put it under the fire to cook the top side. So guys, the top side is burning a little bit, so here comes the versatility of this kind of handle. I'll just spin it like this, like this, and I'll put this side in now, just like this. And voila, here is our delicious breakfast. Put it on my plate and I'll put this cheese and eggs inside the bread. Man, it came out good. Now I will just wrap all of this into one piece. And boom, here is our delicious breakfast. Mm. It came out great. Man, and the smoked cheese flavor, you can really feel it. I really enjoyed the breakfast, it was really good and um, yesterday that pesky jackal got me uh, not scared but kind of nervous because over here we have a huge amount of uh, jackals and predators overall, foxes and wolves which are really aggressive 
and <clears throat> plus everything that about a week ago uh, one jackal um, uh, attacked a man right he on in his own uh, yard next to his house and he was really lucky he uh, the jackal beat him only once but he did a great job and he was able to uh, catch his mouth so that he, he won't uh, bite him anymore and uh, he was lucky that his son was near him and uh, with an axe and that saved him and the man said that if uh, his son wasn't there he would probably die and the jackal would probably eat him so it is pretty serious stuff so I think that will be all for today I really enjoyed this trip overall, and I hope you enjoyed coming with me also. And I will make a separate video about my uh, sleeping system, my shelter and sleeping system. If you will be interested to uh, check out my uh, sleeping system and my shelter in more details, please click here. And... So, I think that will be all for today. Now I'll be going home. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You help me very much by sharing this video on your social media. Thank you very much for your uh, support, for your kind comments. And if you want to see more videos by, by me, please subscribe. And also don't forget to comment down below the, uh, any questions which you have to me and I will answer I will try to answer all of them when I reach 10,000 subscribers so see you guys in the next one thank you for watching and have a nice day